Here's a bit of the debate in the U.S. Senate on this uh, Tuesday noon hour. Uh, the U.S. House of Representatives uh, last night passed a uh, resolution to uh, move those $600 COVID relief checks up to $2,000. It's now up to the Senate. At this point, Majority Leader uh, Mitch McConnell has blocked any immediate vote on it. Uh, here's a bit of the uh, Democratic response. There are 52 Republicans in this chamber, 52 people who are going to have a decision to make about what to do in a country where millions are literally starving as we speak, while 600 billionaires count the $1 trillion in additional wealth that they have accumulated during this period of national calamity. The question before these 52 Senate Republicans is simple. It's simple. Should we give $2,000 to low and middle income Americans right now to help them survive this crisis? That's the decision Senate Republicans have to make right now. Time is running out. 600 billionaires got a trillion dollars richer this year. And the question before Senate Republicans is this. Are you willing to spend an amount equal to just half of that windfall to America's billionaires in order to help 160 million Americans? Because right now, the 52 Senate Republicans serving in this chamber are the only thing standing in the way of $2,000 being sent to 160 million of our neediest citizens. The House passed the bill authorizing the checks in a big bipartisan vote. It is hard to get two-thirds of the House of Representatives to agree on what time it is, but two-thirds of the House of Representatives voted for the $2,000 checks. President Trump supports the $2,000 checks, so he'll sign the bill if the Senate sends it to him, we can vote on the House bill today, like in a matter of hours, if Senate Republicans agree. So why isn't this happening? Why didn't Senator McConnell announce the schedule for the vote on the $2,000 checks bill? Why didn't he agree to Senator Schumer's request to bring it up for an immediate vote? Now, a lot of Republicans are saying they object to the payments because it costs too much and it's going to add too much to the deficit. Well, frankly, spare me the fake righteous indignation about the deficit all of a sudden. Three years ago, these same deficit hawk Republicans passed a tax cut bill that before the pandemic hit had already added over $200 billion to the annual deficit. And that was a tax cut where 80% of the benefits went to the richest 1% of Americans. Warren Buffett wrote in his note to investors last year that the deficit finance tax cuts earned his empire $29 billion overnight. That windfall, Buffett noted, quote, did not come from anything we accomplished at Berkshire. So it's funny, deficits just didn't matter to the 52 when it was tax cuts to the 600 richest people in America.